Cosma. Hey, Cosma. Take a look at this. What's this? This morning we found this corpse in Tokyo Bay. This tattoo. The cause of death was loss of blood due to blunt force trauma to the head. Body was weighed down with cinder blocks and thrown into the bay. There's signs of torture as well. Is it Mizuki? I can't say for sure, but the tattoo, isn't it the same as the one Mizuki has? Looks like. What's up? Take a closer look, around here. Looks like the character for Uta, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. That means it's the work of Utabori II, the master tattoo artist. He always leaves the signature somewhere on his pieces. So, you're saying this corpse was tattooed by this Utabori? Yeah, I had my back done by him. He should be in the Ryujin building, located somewhere between Senryo Avenue and Pink Street. If the woman in the picture is in fact Mizuki, we must never tell Haruka. Yeah. I'm gonna step out for a bit. Be careful. on your fucking knees, get him, I forgive you. Don't let him get away.
Long time no see. Oh, Kazuma. Yeah, I got released from prison a few days ago. In time to cause a huge ruckus at Sera's funeral. <laughs> so, you want to get your tattoo retouched? No. This design, it's the queen of the night. A flower that only blooms once a year at night. Actually, this tattoo? You think I did this one? Hmm. This looks like my signature. A lot of people have been imitating me. I remember all the tattoos I design. This isn't my work. I see. Hello. Ah, it's you. Yeah, he's here. It's Nishki. What? Yeah? It's been a long time, brother. How did you know I was here? When you have power, the information you need simply finds you. When there's something I want to know, I can get it in no time. Have you seen Mizuki's body yet? What the... I'd like to talk to you in private. Tomorrow, 10 p.m. at Serena. Kazuma, I'll retouch your dragon tattoo. With a weak dragon on your back, there's no way you'll defeat Nishiki. It's been more than ten years since I inked this dragon, and Nishiki got the carp tattooed on his back. A tattoo is greatly influenced by the person who has it. The carp on Nishki's back must be shining quite vigorously with color these days. With it, he's now a challenge for you, maybe your equal. The carp in the Yellow River swims upstream, passes the mountain range, and finally reaches the caverns at Longmin, where it'll be reborn as a dragon. Nishki is about to reach Longmin, but before becoming a dragon, you'll need to confront an adversary. An adversary, such as yourself. Nishiki is coming here? Yeah. But the Tojo clan is after Haruka. We've got to hide her. Purgatory would be the safest bet. That place? It is safe, but... I won't go. I won't. What's the matter, Haruka? Mister, you went to find out about my mother, right? So then... Why didn't you take me with you? I... I want to see my mommy. I didn't come here to play. Haruka, listen. You want this, don't you? It's all anyone wants. No one cares about me, do they? Mister, you just want that 10 billion yen. That's why you're with me. I'm sorry. Tell me about my mother. You know something, don't you? Come on, say something. Say something, please. Haruka, listen. Your mother is... Shut the hell up. Don't you dare. Haruka, you have to trust me right now. That's all I can say. I want to trust you, but... My mommy is all I have. If, if you're going to be that way, then so will I. I'm leaving. Haruka-chan. Haruka.
you walking around this place like you own the shit? Hey, motherfucker! Where's Haruka? You must be Kazuma-san and Detective Date. We've been preparing for your arrival. Please, follow me. This is Stardust, right? What's going on here? You'll soon find out.
I've been waiting for you, Kazuma-san. If there's so much as a scratch on her... Haruka! Where's Kazuki and everyone else? They're in the other room. We had to tie them up. But they're alive. Or you. It's better I don't tell you. For both our sakes. Anyhow, where's the pendant this girl is supposed to be wearing? Hand it over. If I give this to you, you're gonna let Haruka go. Of course. Stop. Stop right there. I want you to throw the pendant to me right now. Haruka, I'm sorry. Hey, Date, you all right? Yeah, but Haruka... Shit. It isn't deep, but she got hit. <gasps> Shit. You're gonna regret this shithead.
which organization do you belong to? You're not Yakuza, are you? What do you know about the Pendant? Hey, answer me. We were sent by... Jing... Fuck. Is Haruka okay? She's bleeding, but it's just a scratch. Don't worry. She'll be fine. Mister? You came to rescue me. Yeah. I'm sorry. I... I was being selfish. Haruka. I want to apologize to you about something. I want you to listen to me very carefully. Okay. Mizuki, your mother? She's... she's dead. I'm sorry. I... I couldn't help her. I'm sorry. I'm so, so sorry, Haruka. Kazumusan. The man that got shot, he was wearing this badge. I'll take this and try and find out what's going on. All right, you do that. I apologize. I got you involved in this mess. What are you talking about? Please, there's no need to apologize. He's right. We should be the ones apologizing. We weren't able to do anything when they had their guns pointed at us. I'm sorry. Oh. This must be that little girl. Yeah. I think she's scared of me. Hey. Will you help this little girl out and let her stay here for a while? It's no problem, but I gotta say, I feel a little awkward doing you a favor. Yeah, same here. Make yourself at home. I know it's nothing to brag about, but it'll suffice. Kage, thank you. I owe you one. Don't mention it. This place is safe from cops, Yakuza, you name it. Rest assured. Kazuma, I'm gonna head back to the station. You're gonna meet Nishiki tomorrow. Get some rest. Yeah. I will. Date. Sudo. What's a Section 4 detective doing here? This is a homicide scene, you know. You're right. I'll be on my way. Ten years ago. I looked up to you. Precise investigations, attention to details, and a passion for solving each and every case. You were one hell of a detective. But look at you now. I can't make any sense of what you're trying to do. What are you trying to say? You know, I've been watching you and your partner. Take my words as a warning, sir. Pseudo, you'll never fully understand what's really going on.
Five and two, odds win. Sir, are you babysitting? Nah, take your daughter to work day. You got a problem? No problem. One thing, we don't offer a child rate though. Let's begin. Okay, place your bets. Even. <laughs> Girl's got a little gamble in her. Even. Evens. Odds. Even. Even. Odds. Evens. Odds. Evens, even, 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 odds, odds. odds. Evens, even, even, odds, even, odds, odds. Evens, odds, even, odds, odds, odds. odds. Evens, odds, even, odds, even, odds, odds. Please excuse me. I'll be back in just a moment. Ugh. This gambling thing is pretty easy, huh? I think I'm a natural. You can say that again. Since my good luck's helping you win, you should treat me to something. Sure, no problem. Sorry about the delay. <laughs> Call of nature and all that. Anyway, let's carry on. Let's begin. Roll. Next will be... Odds. Hey. 
Even. Even. Odds. Odds. Even. Odds. Odds. Please, take your seat, sir. Get your hands off me. What the hell are you- What the fuck do you think you're doing? Get out of the way! Excuse me. Uh, hey! Huh? Mister? Look at that. What the hell is that? Some pair of dice you got there. They're loaded! What the fuck is going on here? You prick! Hey! Get out here! <laughs> it was cheating! Throw him out! Huh? What? Wait! Please, no more! You worthless cheat, playing us all for fools. You know what you're gonna have to do to compensate. No! Please forgive me! Sir... I am deeply sorry for what happened. I'm in charge of this establishment. We just hired this dealer today. This was unfortunate for the both of us, and I apologize for his dishonorable actions. Trust me, he'll pay dearly for all the trouble he has caused. No, please! Please, allow us to handle the rest of this situation. Of course, there will be reparation for you as well. We were just leaving. The rest, I'll leave up to you. I appreciate your understanding. Thank you for your patronage. Please, enjoy the rest of your day.
Kazuma. It's almost time. Yeah. He's not the same Nishiki as ten years ago. We don't know what he may try to do. Take care of her. Don't worry. I'm gonna meet up with an old friend. I might be back late. Be careful, mister. Reina, why are you here? Nishiki will be here any minute now. That's why I'm here. I'm worried that you two will try to kill each other. Reina. Nishiki. It's been too long, brother. Reina, give me a drink. Okay. It's been ten years since I had a drink with you. Yeah. I'm sorry that I didn't visit. I've been kind of busy. So I've heard. I... Kazuma, I need that ten billion yen. Give me that kid you've been babysitting, and her pendant. Before that, I want you to tell me something. Why did you kill Mizuki? That wasn't supposed to happen. Not you, me sister. I would never. Oh, Oyobun. What are you guys doing in here? I'm sorry. This girl, she wouldn't talk, so we had to... Who told you to kill her? What? Oh, Oyobun! <laughs> ah! No, wait, wait! She was Yumi's sister! Who told you to kill her? Who told you?! <laughs> Oyobun! Oyobun! Leave it to us. We'll take care of this. For ten years, I've been searching for Yumi. When I learned that her sister worked here at Serena, I had her watched, every move, day in, day out. Every day, hoping Yumi would show up. Is that how you found out about Haruka? It was fate, really. Her growing up in Sunflower Orphanage. The same place you and I came from. Then Mizuki opened Aries. She disappeared soon after, into thin air, just like her daughter. Suddenly, ten billion yen goes missing from the Tojo clan. However, 
That's, yep, it's Yumi's ring. We found it at the crime scene. Yumi is somewhere, somewhere close. I'm sure of it. Kazuma, there's a war going on in the Tojo clan. You can't bring it to an end by yourself. You have to trust me. Hand over the pendant. That pendant's the only thing Haruka has left to remind her of her mother. She has nothing to do with your war. You haven't changed, have you? That's exactly why Yumi fell in love with you. Everyone is always on your side, as long as I've known you. You hate me, don't you? I don't know. But I did betray you, so maybe I do. And then I betrayed Fuma Oyabun. There's no turning back now. You? You shot Fuma Oyabun? Yeah. I was shaking like crazy when I did it. No! Stop! Stop it, both of you! Why? After all he's done for you, he was like a father to you. He's not dead. Anyway, he's with Shinji now. Oyabun, we're here. Y you're tracking him with a bug? On that day ten years ago, I learned not to trust anyone. I'll keep doing things my way until I'm at the top of the Tojo clan. If you don't hand over Mizuki's daughter to me, I'll be forced to do things. Things I don't want to do. Do what you need to do, but I'll never hand the girl over to you. I won't let you get her involved in this. Never. Can't turn back the clock. I was hoping that we could work together again. But I see now. We are brothers no longer. Why did things turn out this way? Why? Tell me why! Oyebu, should we proceed? Yeah. Go ahead. Yes, sir. How have you been, Kazuma-san? It's the Oyabun's order. Nothing personal. Kill him!
Come <laughs> on.